page 22, 24, something like that. Yeah, to page 20. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do 20, 24. That's better. That'll be good. Call it the line of scrimmage. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem HaSharet, Aleichem Shabbat Shalom means a Sabbath of peace, and you say back Shabbat Shalom. We'll try it. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Well done. It's like you've been here all, the whole time. My name is uh, Paul Kipnis. I'm one of the rabbis here at Congregation Orami. With Cantor Doug Kotler, we welcome you all to Shabbat services as we celebrate the Sabbath, as we let go of the craziness of the world out there, as we sit with friends. We also want to welcome those from the Orme community and those who are worshiping with us as we celebrate as uh, Madison, as Maddie becomes a bat mitzvah today. I want to welcome all of you who are worshiping with us via the live stream. Thanks to Bronze Productions for making it possible for people all over the country and the world, really, to be able to worship with us. So Shabbat Shalom. We're going to celebrate, we are going to pray, we are going to kfel. It's a Hebrew, a Yiddish word means to be filled with joy and pride as this young woman becomes a bat mitzvah. And so 
I'm going to start by lighting Shabbat candles. Before we do, let me ask everybody just to take out your cell phones and make sure they're off. I find that the cell phone that goes off during the service is the one that right now you are 100% sure is off, and maybe it's not. And our friends, after you've done it, just uh, you can put those away. But we're going to light some Shabbat candles. The blessings are on page 2 page two. And I'd like to invite uh, Maddie's mom and dad and brother to join us at the candles as we light. brother's bar mitzvah and before you were that little girl <laughs> running around on the bima off the bima all over the place you sort of owned it and you were looking i could see you looking up here and i know your mom and dad even as we were celebrating uh, your brother they and i were looking forward to this day today as you take your place in shalshala to kabbalah in the unbroken chain of transmission of torah our tradition teaches that we pass our values Lador for door from generation to generation. And for many, it begins, or really takes, uh, crystallizes as we stand up here on the bima. And for the first moment, you take your talit and wrap yourself in it and become prepared to be a bat mitzvah. It's just a piece of cloth, but these strings we put on the end, when we tie them and wrap them, we're fulfilling a mitzvah, a commandment in Torah to wrap ourselves in four corners. So I have one, two, and three, four behind. These reminders of the mitzvot, commandments to live a good, honest, ethical, ritual-filled Jewish life. 613 of them, many different ways, a smorgasbord or a buffet line, a buffet line of ways of being Jewish, being a moral, ethical person. So turn and take the talit from the hands of your parents. Come over here, turn back. Blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Kidishanu B'mitzvotav, Vitzivanu Lehit Atev Batzitzit. Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, guide of the universe, who makes us holy through mitzvot and commands us to wrap ourselves in the fringes of the Talit. And so we have these special moments, moments of uplift of joy, moments that we just like to hold on to and lift up moments that we thank God for the holiness of this moment as a young woman becomes a bat mitzvah, as a family passes Torah down from one generation to the next. We thank God for giving us life, for keeping us in life, and for bringing us to this very special occasion. The prayer is Shehechianu, and we invite those of you who know it to sing with us. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu 
you to turn your prayer book to page 35 page 35 first of all welcome again all of you to congregation or me we're thrilled you're here worshiping with us um, I want to uh, just let you know for the guests who are here uh, if you need to use the facilities the restrooms are right behind this wall but don't use the door in here just go back through the uh, the wood glass doors right here and immediately out take a left and you'll find uh, the bathrooms there. If you want something to drink go out and to the right there's dividers behind the dividers you'll find filtered water faucets and uh, there's cups above somewhere over there and if you um, we're very very family friendly we got uh, now eight kids I think between the three clergy mm -hmm. but uh, if the kids get spilkas can't sit still or the parents get spilkas want to use them that's our children's sanctuary uh, these games, books, toys, sounds piped in, just always an adult in there, and then throw everything back in. Don't have to, just an option, okay? Not for you guys, though. I will stay all in here. Um, and... Yes. Um, 
We're actually going to turn to page 26 instead of uh, 35. Uh, that's where the prayer is. Diane Townsend, right in the doorway, is our bar and bat mitzvah teacher and worked with Joshua and now Maddie to prepare uh, them for this day. And you're going to see some uh, wonderful coaching and uh, tutoring in just a minute. Uh, let's rise, if you're able, for the Chatzik Kaddish on page uh, 26. Yikadal ve'yikadash Shemei Raba Be'almadi ve'rach Yir'utei ve'yamlich mohutei Bechaye chon uv yome chon uv chaye de chobe Israel. Ba agala, ba agala, uvis man kariv, ve imeru amen. Yehe shme raba mevarach, le ala mulo me omaya. Yidbarach, Yidbarach, the Yishtabach, the Yipar, the Roman, the Yinase, the Yidhadar, the Yidale, the Yidhala, Shime de Kudisha, the Rihu, the Ela, Min Kol Birchata, the Shirata. Tush bechata v'nechemata da amiran be'alma ve'imeru amen. Turn the page. La 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 la. La 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 la. Page twenty-eight. Uh, uh, Todd to come on up, Dad, uh, to play a little piano. You do this? Page 35. You know how to do this stuff? Okay. Um, at page 35, as we sing this and then Shema. If you're lost, you feel afraid. Don't know what to say, then listen, listen to our God. Is there a question on your mind? Is the answer hard to find? Then listen, listen. Listen with all your heart and soul And with all your might Write them and learn them and teach them well Every morning and night Close your eyes And listen Top of the high 
together we'll sing the Shema. and we'll join together in the chanting of the Vanhafta prayer. Vanhafta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavecha Uvechol nafshecha Uvechol meodecha Vehayu Hadivarim Haele Asher onahi mitzavecha hayom alivavecha vishin on tam livanecha vidibarta bam bishiv techa bive techa uvelech techa vaderech uvishoch ucha uvikumeka. Ukshar tam ve od al yadecha ve hayulitotavot vein enecha Uchtav tam al mezizot betecha uvisharecha Nema antis keru va asitem et kol mitzvotai vi heitem kedoshim lelo hechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher Hotseiti Echem Me Eretz Mitzrayim Li Heyot Lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Page 40 La 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 I'm 
kadosh, vishim ha kadosh, u kiddoshim bechoyom, ye hallelujah sela, baruchha ta adonai ha el ha kadosh. turn to page 60 and please be seated. At this point in our service, we sing a prayer for peace, Shalom Rav. And as we do, our thoughts turn as a community, as a synagogue, a Jewish community, to the Middle East where Israel and the Palestinians in Gaza are once again inching toward war. Some 200 missiles flew into Israel in the past uh, for 24, 48 hours, uh, and uh, Israel, it's not something that Israel can abide. And it is an area of the world where emotions run high, where hatred runs deep, and where sometimes, even when they don't want to, both sides find themselves marching toward war. We pray for a moment when leaders of both peoples will be able to see what's good for their people and figure out that it's working towards peace and harmony and not towards violence and war. So we sing a prayer for peace on page 60.
As my people went from land to land Something passed from hand to hand And it isn't just The words and stories Of the ancient It's the way we study The book we study It's the way we study The way I'm standing on the shoulders Of the ones who came before me Today my life is full of choice Because a young man raised his voice Because a young girl took a chance That's come to me I'm standing on the shoulders Of the ones who came before me So in the garden I'll plant a seed, a tree of life for you to read, the fruit will ripen in the sun, the words will sound I am gone. These are the things I pass along. The fruit, the book, and the of the ones who came before me. So invite up 
Grandpa John and Nana Chris. us open the ark, we call up friends Adriana and Tiara to join us here up on the Bema, and I invite you all to please rise as we remove the Torah from the ark. Ki mitzihon Yerushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Le'amo Yisrael Bekidushato Vizot HaTorah, this is the Torah. Vizot HaDakah, this is the moment we get ready to pass it to you. In this Torah is everything that's good about our people, our life, our values, our traditions, our stories, our laws, our rituals. It's an inheritance passed to you by people who love you, those who are here, and also those back east your grandma Carlin in Michigan and your grandma Joanne in New York who are filled with love for you and we feel their love here. And this is being passed down also by some who are no longer with us, who have passed on from this world, but who form the shoulders upon which all of you stand, your beloved grandpa Carlin, your great grandma Goldie, your great-grandma Joan, your great-grandpa Mel. All of them and those who are here today are ready to pass this Torah to you. Now your Torah portion this week is Ra'e. It means to see. It doesn't say Tistakel, Tistakli. It doesn't say look at the Torah, look at this moment, glance quickly. It says Ra'e, which the commentators say means to really look at, to discern, to see what's happening, to take it in, to take a look around. You're surrounded by people who love you. Take a look around. You're in a building, a holy place that fills you with meaning. Take a look around. You're surrounded by family who love you and support you. And take a look. In a minute, you'll be holding the Torah that while heavy comes to you because it knows you are ready to receive it, to carry it, and to bring goodness into the world because of it. Vizota Torah, this is Torah. Vizota Dakan, this is the moment. We pass it to you. Shema Yisrael Adonai Adonai
help undress the Torah, we call up cousins Diane and Melina. Diane and Melina, come on up. Take a look, Torah says. Take a look into the past and see what was. Take a look into the future and see what could be. You're not stuck by what was in the past, particularly all that you don't like. Your future is not set what's ahead of you. The future is still open. You get to write the chapters in the book of life. What you can't change is this moment. It is here. You are standing here with grandparents and parents, your brother, friends and family. You're standing here before the holiest thing we Jews have besides our young people, our children. Look at the words. Know that these words have been read by young Jewish men and women and old Jewish men and women for generations gone back. Some say 2,500, 5,000 years. Know that as you look at these words, you are seeing them not only through your eyes, but through the eyes of commentators and generations gone back. And know that your modern eyes are important to help interpret it for our modern times. And so to help us bless Torah, we call up some relatives, some family members for Naliyala Torah to come up physically to be close to and bless the Torah, to be here at this holy moment. We're reading from Parshat Re, chapter Deuteronomy chapter 13, verses 1 and following. We call up grandparents first. Grandpa John and Nana Chris. Yamdu Harishon. Tosei falav velo tigra mi menu 
Ki akum bekir becha navi o cholem chalom vinatan elecha hot o mofet uva hot beha mofet asher di ber elecha le mor nelcha achare elohim acherim. Asher lo yidatam vina odem lo tishma el divre hanavi hahu oh el cholim hachalom hahu ki menase adonai elohechem etchem la dot Haishem o chavim et dadonai elohechem bechol levavechem uvechol nafshechem Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu Torah emet for a second Aliyah, we call up mom and dad and Joshua. Yamdu Hasheni Devora, Yoshua Ben Devora. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Lulam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Lulam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Haamim. Vinatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Notain HaTorah. Amen. Achare Adonai Elohechem Teleichu Veoto Tiro Veet Mitzvotav Tishboru Ufkolo Tishmau Veoto Taavodu Uvo Tibakun Behanavi Hahu O Cholem Ha chalom ha hu yumat ki di ber sara al adonai elohechem hamotzi elchem me eretz mitzrayim vehaporcha mi beit davadim lehadi chacha min haderech asher tivcha. Adonai Elohecha lalechet ba uvi arta hara mikir becha ki yisid cha ahicha ben imecha ovin cha ovid cha oh eshet chekecha oh reacha. Asher ken nafshecha basse ter le mor nelcha. Then abda Elohim acherim. Asher lo yadata ata va avotecha. Ne Elohei ha amim. Asher sivivotechem. 
Hakrovim Elecha O Harichokim Mimeka Mikse Ha Aret Ve'ad Kitse Ha Aret Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Vehaye Olam Nata Vitohenu Baruch Ata Adonai No Tain HaTorah For our final Aliyah, we call up the Bat Mitzvah. Talmud Ha Shlishi Abachura Habat Mitzvah Hamavtir Matanabat Devora Chiski Chiski Venit Chazek Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bachar banu mikol ha'amim, v'natan lanu et torato, baruch ata adonai, notain ha'torah. Lo tove lo, v'lo tishma elav, v'lo tachos encha alav, v'lo tachmo, v'lo techase alav. Ki harog tahar genu yarcha, ti heye bova rishona la hamito, v'yad ko ha'am ba'acharona. Us kalto va avanim va mate ki vikesh le hadi chacha me al adonai elohecha hamoti acha me eret mitraim mi beit avadim vecho Israel ishmeu veiraun dilo yosifu la asot. Kadavar hara haze bekir becha. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu Torah emet. Vechaye olam nata bitochenu baruch ata adonai notain haTorah. To help us dress the Torah, we're going to call up cousins Emily and Capley and Uncle Mark to join us up here, right over about there. We're going to lift up the Torah in a minute to show everyone what was read. Uh, our Bat Mitzvah read uh, in the right-hand column uh, from the top towards the middle. Just come on right up there and stop right there. Perfect. Now take two steps this way. Come on. Oh, back, okay. what, but a half a step back. Uh, no, close. Okay, good. So you're doing great. So um, we're going to show everybody what was read. So let me invite you to please rise as we give honor to the Torah. Zot HaTorah Asher Somo Shelev Nevene Yisrael Al Pi Adonai Be'ad Moshe Yitzchayim hi Lemachazikim bo Shalom, Hashivenu 
Adonai Elecha Venashuva Chahadesh Chahadesh Ameinu Chahadesh Ameinu Kekedem Hi, sis. <laughs> For the past 13 years, I've found myself constantly in awe of you. I've seen you grow up from a little girl excited about life and the world around her to being a young woman following her dreams every day. And seeing you on this journey has been inspirational to me. One of the things I admire about you is your tenacity when it comes to following your passions. For example, when you were taking care of Rio, your horse, you'd make sure to be there every single day, even if it meant waking up before sunrise. When you were performing at Carnegie Hall, you spent many hours a day preparing your piece, making sure every note was perfect. Although it may sound cliche, I know that as long as you keep working hard at these dreams, you can do anything you set your mind to. I hope that this milestone you've earned today is only the beginning of a long list of goals you accomplish. And as you grow older, always remember to do what you love and nothing less. From here, nothing can stop you. I love you and congratulations. <laughs> Thirteen years ago, I wrote in my journal, Dear baby girl, it's official. You finally have a name, Madison Sarah Carlin. I hope you like it. Madison means good, brave, and a gift from God. Fast forward. Maddie, today you are becoming a bat mitzvah. As I stand here before you, completely humbled by your beauty and your strength, I am reminded of how well your name really does suit you. You are good, you are brave, and you are the greatest gift from God I could have ever imagined. In all that you do, you find a way to live life to its fullest, be it jumping horses, pe performing piano, or just hanging out with your friends. You have an uncanny ability, to, uncanny ability to confront obstacles with determination and strength. And when presented with a challenge, you meticulously map out your plan, make a list, and then go for it. Never backing down, never missing a beat, and always keeping your sights set on your goals. This was clear when you started riding horses over five years ago. You were intent on learning everything you could about them, be it riding technique, training, or rehabilitation. In signature Maddie style, soon you conquered the challenge of equestrian shows and competitions, and in the process you set standards that remain your trademark. Your persistence guides you in many facets of your life, whether it's learning a new piece of music, memorizing a script, or studying Hebrew. This spirit has guided you through triumphs and challenges. When your loving piano teacher and mentor of seven years, Mr. Edward Francis lost his battle with cancer, you didn't question why. You didn't get angry. Knowing the two of you had, had set a goal, and you were going to see it through, Gracefully, you took command as you performed last fall at Carnegie Hall. Your dad and I were overjoyed with your achievement, but prouder of the path you took to get there. Maddie, beyond your accomplishments, I am even more proud of you as a person. You are compassionate and loving. 
accepting of all you come into contact with. No matter what differences you have, you always seem to find common ground. The sibling bond that you have with Joshua is amazing. You're always by his side, supporting him, helping him with his magic tricks, going over scripts, giving relationship advice. <laughs> 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 and constantly encouraging him to be his best. The relationship you and I share is filled with understanding, patience, and most of all, humor. <laughs> I love everything we do together, be it going to the park with the dogs, laughing at crazy jokes, shopping for makeup, sneaking junk food when dad's not around, <laughs> or saying the Shema prayer every night before bed. What I love most, though, is when you say, Mom, I love you. Can I have a hug? Always, Maddie. You can always have a hug. Maddie, just a few words to take with you on life's journey. Stay true to yourself. Embrace your strengths. Face your challenges. Keep your incredible sense of humor. And always keep God with you. Surround yourself with love, for you are a loving person. You have a soul that is sincere, humble, and wise. Go forth, my beautiful girl, and know that forever and always I love you. Ms. Maddie, <laughs> today we celebrate your entry into adulthood. And just as we did with your brother Joshua, it is now time to stand back, observe, and watch you evolve. Not always easy for a parent, but I have to say it a lot easier this time around. <laughs> From an early age, you've had cert a certain determination and resolve. You set your sights on something and you persevere until you attain it. Whether it's striving for perfect form on a horse, articulating new piano music, or how about the time when you were in preschool and you insisted on dancing by yourself in front of not only your classmates, but the entire audience at one of the holiday shows. Not to be outdone by a particular class member who just happened to come from a family of professional dancers. <laughs> In your 13 years, you've had some pretty notable experiences. You've traveled extensively, performed piano at Carnegie Hall, and have worked as an actress on numerous TV shows and commercials. In many of these cases, you interacted with people much older than you people who in turn instilled real-world insight, which I think has bestowed a maturity that extends well beyond your 13 years. Of course, there's more to life than just personal achievements. While these are important milestones, what will endure is your relationship with family, your friends, and God. Here at Orme, you've been exposed to strong family values, a sense of community, and a caring and nurturing environment. Participating in the various local or social outreach programs Going on weekend retreats and immersing yourself into the Orami culture has been an invaluable part of your childhood. These are ideals that will help carry you through the many ups and downs you'll encounter throughout your lifetime. In years to come, you'll reflect fondly on your studies with Rabbi Paul, Rabbi Julia, Cantor Doug, Diane Townsend, Miss Patty, and others who have been so influential these last nine years or so. Thank you all. Um, so for the first girl to come along in the Carlin lineage in how many generations? <laughs> Here's my wish for you. I wish for you to be the Maddie I've always known, the one with all that persistence and determination. I wish for you to be honest and a good listener. Wherever you journey, may your steps be firm and may you walk with conviction and not be afraid. Whenever you speak, May your words be words of wisdom and friendship, and most of all, respect. Go out, explore, and pursue your true passions, what truly resonates in your heart. And finally, may you always know, whatever doors you walk through and wherever life leads you, I'm so very proud of you. You are one of the greatest blessings of my life, and no matter what, you'll always have your mom and dad's love and support. May God bless and keep you always. I love you, sweetheart. Maddie is going to share 
uh, her own thoughts with us. which she chanted so beautifully and studied for these many, many months. Um, and thankfully, uh, she will now uh, address us in English. Uh, she's, been, she's been speaking Hebrew this entire evening, but uh, so thank God in English. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. As most of you know, I love horseback riding. I think the thing that I love most about horseback riding is the feeling of when I win a competition or make it over a really high jump that I did not think I could do. I also love having such a strong, loving connection with a horse. Horseback riding has taught me patience and determination. I have learned that the greatest rewards come not in the form of the final outcome, but in the form of taking step by step until you get there. Horseback riding is a process of taking small steps and trusting that together, the horse and I can take another step. These steps have led me to become a more confident person. Horseback riding has also taught me not to give up, even when things get rough. I am more able to keep pushing myself when I did not think I could go any further. Similarly, this process of becoming a bat mitzvah has taught me patience and determination. Like with horseback riding, I had to keep pushing myself even when I did not think I could learn to chant the Torah or remember the prayers. So I took small steps, three and three as my teacher Diane Townsend guided me, until I learned what I needed to do. So here I am, up on the bima, becoming a bat mitzvah. In my Torah portion, the Israelites are told to destroy and obliterate the altars and religious sites of other religions that did not worship Adonai. That might have been the rule back then when the Israelites were first establishing a religion and people, Yet we do not believe we should do that today, and Jewish law forbids destruction of other holy sites of other religions. In fact, different than what happens in the other countries around the world, Israel protects the Muslim mosques, the Christian churches, Baha'i temples, and other religious sites within its borders. Israel makes sure that these religious sites are accessible to people of all faiths. This part of the Torah presents an idea that there is only one way to worship God and only one way to understand God. The Torah teaches that only God, who we call Adonai, is the true God. I believe, however, that while there is one God, there are many ways to worship God. Judaism has its own rituals, although, in truth, different groups of Jews worship in different ways. For example, Reformed Jews, including our synagogue, allow women to fully participate in all aspects of religious life, including being rabbis like our own Rabbi Julia Weiss. Orthodox Judaism, however, gives women a different or many say secondary role to men. Rabbi Paul teaches that a true religion recognizes that there are multiple ways of worshiping the one God. Therefore, any religion that denies the truth in other religions may be a false religion. Rather, we embrace the things that we have in common with other religious groups. Rabbi Paul asked me what I believe about God. I do believe in God. I believe that God is everywhere and that God plays a big role in not just my life, but in many people's lives. If a loved one is ill or not doing so well, I know that God will be watching over them. That does not mean that the person will definitely get better, but God can give them the strength or courage to get through it. When my piano teacher passed away, I felt especially close to God. It was a hard time, and I felt like there was hope even in the face of death. God gave me that hope. I wanted to become a bat mitzvah because I think it connects me more to God. I'm excited to see my friends and family, especially those of you who flew in from Virginia. I think reading from Torah was cool because it is the holiest object we Jews have. Like my mom, I think that by becoming a bat mitzvah, I've developed a stronger connection to Judaism. Like my dad, I'm glad that this experience makes me want to continue exploring my faith and my Jewish roots. Now that I'm a bat mitzvah, I'm able to wear a talit, read from the Torah, lead the prayers, be called up for an aliyah, and be counted in a minyan, the ten Jews needed for a prayer service. For my mitzvah project, I traveled up north to a horse rehabilitation center and brought down a horse to the barn that I ride at to rehabilitate her. Pebbles is a small bay horse who is undernourished and takes off too quickly when people ride her. The training and rehabilitation period will be about two months. 
After I am done training her, she will be placed in a summer camp for children to ride. Almost every day, I groom, clip, ride, feed, and jump her, which I will continue to do until she is strong enough to be put in that camp. Judaism teaches that we are to be Shomre Adama, or guardians of the earth. Caring for the earth means taking care of all of God's creatures, including animals, or my favorite, horses. <laughs> there are a number of people who care for me whom I would like to thank. Mom. Thank you so much for always supporting me in my acting, piano, and horseback riding activities. I truly appreciate all your help going over scripts for auditions and driving me to the places I need to go. I know I can always talk to you, and you will give me good advice about whatever is going on. You're an amazing mom. I love you. Dad, thanks for helping me master the piano. You help me learn new piano pieces in your wonderfully patient and thoughtful way. You inspire me. You have taught me so much, and I love sitting down and watching movies with you. Thanks for being a great dad. I love you. Joshua, I love all of our inside jokes. You make me laugh constantly. I'm so lucky to have you as my brother. I love you. Grandpa John and Nana Chris, thanks so much for being such amazing grandparents. It means a lot that you came all the way from Virginia to celebrate with us. I love you both. Grandma Carlin, I love the delicious cookies you bake every time I come over. They're sweet just like you. It's really neat that you get to watch me become a bat mitzvah over live stream. I love you. Grandma Joanne, it meant so much to me that you came to my piano performance in New York. I'm glad you could watch as I chanted my prayers in Torah portion, if only through the live stream. I love you. I love being a part of Congregation Orami because I feel it has brought me closer to God. I have made so many amazing friends from being here. I love being involved in such a great community. It feels good knowing that wherever I go, I will always have people, friends, teachers, cantor, and rabbis who I can talk to when times get tough. I want to thank my amazing bat mitzvah teacher, Diane Townsend, uh, for helping me so much as I prepared for this special day. You are a patient and creative teacher. Cantor Doug Kotler, I love listening to you sing and singing along with you. You bring so much joy to our congregation. I would like to thank Rabbi Paul Kipnis for helping me write this Devar Torah. You're an amazing and funny rabbi. Finally, I want to thank all of you for coming to celebrate as I become a bat mitzvah. Shabbat Shalom. celebration continues. You made us very proud. You sang and led the service so beautifully. You chanted Torah like a pro. Thank you. And you taught us through your own special way the lessons of Torah. I don't know if you know this, but there are all sorts of, in Judaism, there are, there's food that you, that Jews are allowed to eat and traditionally food we're not allowed to eat. Things that we're allowed to eat are called kosher. Those who aren't are not kosher. And so of all the animals, that people eat regularly around the world. Horses, horse meat, is not kosher. You can't eat it. It doesn't have split hooves, and it doesn't chew its cud. Now people say, why is it that you can eat a cow, you can eat... Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> you can eat other kinds of meat. Sheep. Like Sheep, but yeah. goat, goat yeah. but uh, not, uh, not horses. And the interesting thing is that um, when the sea split, you know, during the Passover story, and the Israelites went through, and then the Egyptians came in their horses and their chariots, the water then covered them over, and the Egyptians died, but the horses died too. And there's a Midrash, rabbinic story, that says, why is it that we can't eat animals? We can't eat horses, horses 
because while the Egyptians acted in their own way, uh, sinned by enslaving the Israelites, and so they lost their lives because of it. The horses did nothing but serve their masters. And so as a way of paying them back for the loss of, their lo the, loss of the lives of those animals at that time, from that point forward, no horses are allowed to be eaten. Rather, they're considered, on one level, sacred animals, beautiful, and if you treat them well, they will take, carry you through life in beautiful ways. So you have led us through the service in, in truly beautiful ways, and we have a number of gifts for you. So I'd like to call up uh, Susie Gruber, a uh, member of our Hinenu Karen Community Committee and representing our whole synagogue board. Hi, Maddie, you did an amazing job tonight. Thank you. And I know how hard it is to learn Hebrew, to read Hebrew, to learn your prayers, to sing your prayers, and it was great. I mean, look at the smiles and look at the joy on everyone's faces here. And look how proud your parents are. Look how proud your brother is. And as a representative of the board here at Congregation Army, we are also so proud of you. We're proud of the work you've done. We're proud of the work and support from our rabbis, Rabbi Paul, Rabbi Julia, Kenner, Doug, and Diane, that got you here today and made this such a wonderful synagogue and a place to be. So now the congregation does know a lot about you. We heard from your parents and your brother and from the rabbi and from yourself what your passions are. You're an accomplished equestrian. Yes. <laughs> you are a classically trained pianist. Did you know that, Kendra? I did know that. Wow. <laughs> and as you heard, she's played. You've played at Carnegie Hall. It's amazing. You're an actress. You do voiceovers. Mm -hmm. And with all of the things you do, you have time for mitzvot. And that's just such a cherished Jewish value of tikkun olam. During disaster relief, I understand that you raised money for the International Association of Equestrians mm -hmm. and help rescue horses and train them and help them. And it's just such a wonderful thing that you do that because it's your passion and it's your love. And that is so much of a Jewish value. And we so appreciate it. And I had the chance to talk to your family a little bit this week. And they had shared with us already some stories and some feelings they have. But I have a couple more things to say on their behalf. Your mom told me how humble but determined you are. Your dad told me that you do have a mind of your own and you're very <laughs> tenacious. And your brother Joshua, he told me that he, for you to never stop doing what you love. And he so admires that. And here at Congregation RME, we hope that you love and will continue with your Jewish education, with our teen projects, that you will love coming through our open doors every day, and you will love knowing that this is your home away from home. And on behalf of the board and on behalf of the congregation, I have a gift for you and a big mazel tov. Thank you so much. In addition, we have for you a tree certificate. We plant a tree for you in Israel, water it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have a gift certificate for a $250 toward a trip to Israel uh, through Nifty. Our youth group, Lompti and Sompti, have a gift certificate for your first event free with them. We have a bat mitzvah certificate, and there's a car waiting. Just kidding about that. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had one, I'd give it to you. But no, just you got to wait on that. But lastly, I'm going to bless you with words, with blessings from our tradition. So I'm going to invite everybody to sit back and listen to the music. Think that, imagine you were standing in my shoes. Think of the words of blessing you'd share with Maddie. I know later on tonight or this weekend, you'll pull her aside, her parents aside, and share those words of praise with her. So we take a moment of blessing. We are gifts, we are blessings, we are history in song. We are hope, and we are healing, 
We are learning to be strong We are words and we are stories We are pictures of the past We are carriers of wisdom Not the first and not the last Your name Looking back On the journey That we carry In our heart From the shadow Of the mountain To the waters That would Part. We are blessed and we are holy. We are children of your way. And the words that bring us meaning, we will have the strength to say. lips will pray your name Shabbat Shalom Welcome to Congregation Orami. We're thrilled you're here with us. Uh, it's a great celebration tonight. Uh, I wanted to let you know a couple of things. First of all, that we are here next week uh, uh, for Shabbat services at 7.30 p.m. It's a Torah study Shabbat. Some congregants are going to be reading, and uh, Cantor Doug and I will be leading in music. Well, he'll be leading in music. I'll be leading in uh, some teaching. Uh, our rabbi for, for the day as it's listed will be with us later on next month uh, so uh, or the month after. Um, but the two of us will be there. I um, want to let you know that um, unbelievably the high holidays are coming forward. I think we're in the last day of the month of Av, the month just before the month before Rosh Hashanah. So um, if you look up, there's no moon, right? Uh, almost no moon. Almost no moon, right. Yeah, so that's when you know a new month is starting, and that means that rabbis and cantors start going, oh my gosh, i got about another month to write my sermons and get the music together and whatever. Uh, we do high holiday services at the Thousand Oak Civic Arts Plaza, uh, and it's we invite you all to join us uh, for, for services. You need to get tickets, which you can get uh, through our website. Uh, security and what have you require that. If you are a congregant, uh, part of the partnership of Orami, please make sure you renew your partnership and then you uh, go online and reserve your uh, tickets for services. Uh, don't wait till last minute because then you'll have double the sins for uh, Yom Kippur coming up uh, that year. Uh, lastly, we're, oh, I don't know where it is, but we're going to be having a great picnic on um, at the end of August and everybody is invited to join us at that. There's a beach Shabbat later on this month. All sorts of great stuff happening. You can pick up one of the flyers at the front desk uh, before you leave. I'm going to invite everybody to turn in your prayer book to page 294. 294. Even in times of joy like this, we take a moment to remember our loved ones who are no longer with us. The memory of them can still warm us. Their love can still inspire us. Some of you are remembering your loved ones during this time of Kaddish as I bring my hand around the room. 
I invite you to mention their name and their relationship to you aloud. This evening we remember. May their memories be for blessing. Now, if I invite you, if you're able to, to please rise, as together on page 294 we say, Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei raba, be'alma divera chirutei v'yamlich ma'achutei, b'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael, b'agalau v'zman kariv v'imru amen. Yehei shmei raba mevarach le'olam ol'almei almaya, Yit Barach, the Yishtabach, the Yit Paar, the Yit Ramam, the Yit Nase, the Yit Hadar, the Yit Alev, the Yit Alal Shmei de Kurisha, Brihu, Leela Minko, Beer Hata, the Shirata, Tushpachata, the Nechamata, Daminan Beama, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Minchamaya, Vahayim Alenu, the Akho Israel, Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bimramav, Huya Ase Shalom. Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who makes peace in high heavens make peace for us, for all Israel and all the world as we say together. Amen. amen. Immediately following the services, we're going to invite um, any Maddie's friends who need a ride to where you're going after this. Uh, you grab a cookie and then quickly go to the front door and uh, they'll arrange for rides for you. And after we do the blessings out there, we invite family to come back into the sanctuary for a couple of pictures uh, before we go forward. Uh, everybody else uh, will all go out, grab a little cup for gra of grape juice. Don't uh, drink it until we do the blessing. And then we'll uh, sing and we have great cookies and whatever as we say together. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Well, Join us out in the foyer.